Hey everybody, ER92840 here, doing a little camera arrangement, trying a little bit of different look here, rather than the static old standing thing. Oh, 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 anyways. Alright, I just thought I'd try my first unboxing. Okay, um, I noticed these uh, videos seem to be pretty popular. Um, especially if it's a product that somebody likes, so somebody that really wants to know exactly what's in that box. So we're going to go ahead and unbox a thing I got at Christmas, which I still haven't even tried yet. See how busy I've been? But anyways, moving on. Uh, I'm going to open up, today I'm going to open up the Canon D50 external shoe mount microphone. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this today. This is a pretty cool thing. It's exactly made for the camera I'm using now, the Canon HV30. And, um, but I noticed in, uh, when I tried some, uh, shooting outside that the D, uh, excuse me, the Canon HV30 has a problem with the wind and the wind noise that goes into the camera. Now I found out exactly what the problem was. Well, obviously it was the microphone, but it's the positioning of the microphone on the HV30. The HV30, it's actually right on top of the camera, right in front, right on top of the lens. There's no windbreak whatsoever to block the wind from getting in there, so the only way to do it, there have been some kind of hacks about putting a cotton ball and taping over there. I thought it looked kind of hokey, but <laughs> so I thought I'd go ahead and try this. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this today and let me know what you guys think about it or if you've even used it who knows you know i'm sure there are many people on youtube that have this camera and i've also used this microphone so let's get started all right now that we're set down in a little in a little table here so we can go ahead and open this up so let's get started pretty easy no tape cellophane on it let's go ahead and open it up box is empty everything's in this huh all right, well, of course, we have the instruction manual. And then you need to uh, put your microphone together. And of course, it's all in many different languages. You probably never understand one English. But that's okay, it has to be available to everybody. So let's go ahead and remove the cardboard piece, which happens to cover the microphone. Now I'm starting to see that the microphone is starting to show. Um, they give you, oh, that's cool, they give you, oh, I guess you should have it, <laughs> even though I was just talking about it, the windscreen. Okay, the windscreen you definitely need. Cool. Oh, that's right. Um, windscreen for your microphone. And the microphone itself. Jeez, that's about it in the box. The microphone itself, it goes on the hot shoe on the top of the camera. This one is really interesting to me anyways, and I'm sure to you as well, that it has settings for a shotgun, stereo, or the microphone goes backwards. Now what it does is it, it also turns the back on so when you're talking, Say you want to narrate your film or something, or narrate something that you're doing, you can talk and as well as be captured in the back. So that's really cool. You don't have to use batteries for it, but it does use your existing battery in your camera. Now I did ask the salesperson when I got this, well, what's the life in general, the life I should say of my battery? Uh, they said that if you use this on your on your video camera when you're shooting film. Stuff like that. They said that it will probably take about an hour, maybe a little less, maybe a little less, 45 minutes to an hour of your battery use will be gone using this, which is fine. I always carry extra batteries with me anyway, so I'm not going to go real long on this. But if you're looking for the Canon um, shotgun microphone that's made for it, there are others that you can actually use. Um, the D50 is probably the one you're looking for. But anyways, just wanted to unbox that for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you have any questions about the HV30 or maybe this D50, I'm going to shoot a thing a little later. And 
in the outside environment when it's really windy and see how it works. Really so anyways, thanks a lot guys. Take it easy and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Oh, almost forgot. Keep those cameras rolling.